and life like this out there anywhere but here. This is a special patented technology that I'm going to explain to you. It actually is a combination of many knives. We've got a chef's knife, a cleaver, and a mezzaluna all combined into one here. So we call it the mezza knife. And I'll, I'll explain to you exactly how it works. Uh, with some animation that we have here that I can show you. But, okay. But what it does is it combines these three knives into one. So it ah. becomes a very functional knife. These are all really highly functional knives. But once we get them all combined into one, we put this patented groovy design on the on the blade. Now you'll see that groovy design, you'll see from the top. From the bottom, however, it's a straight uh -huh. edge. But what those grooves do is they allow air to get between the knife and the food, so the, not, the food does not stick to the knife. It just falls right away. Things glide more easily through the foods because air is getting in between. There's no suction between the food and the knife. So it's really quite amazing and, and a joy to use, to be honest. And of course, Meredith is a professional chef, and if you're not, Sometimes it can be a little challenging to, well, the, you know, wield the knife properly. Right. This is what happens. This is a, you know, a regular knife. It's a good knife. It's actually one of my knives, mm -hmm. and it's a good knife. But the food can stick to the knife, and that makes it frustrating when you're trying to actually slice. Mm -hmm. But because that air can get through the groove tech knife, look at that potato it just falls right off. Wow which makes life so much easier. And when it makes it really easy, it's when you're doing things like this, Carol. Let me show you. That is a big block of cheese. It is a big <laughs> block of cheese. So, David size. So I'm gonna go through it here first like this. Now when I'm getting through there, but I am seriously pushing hard. And that, if you slip, could cut your yeah, hand. Exactly, I'm pushing you know. very hard yeah. on that and I can eventually get through. Uh -huh. But when you have air between the knife and the food, look at this. Oh Boom. my gosh, <laughs> yes. what a difference. You know, one hand, it's so much easier. Wow. So whether it's a big slab of cheddar or whether it's, you know, sticky moths, look at that. Does mm -hmm. not stick to the knife, just goes straight down and through. That's pretty amazing. This is a knife that can do all those things. It can do things like, you know, hard salamis mm -hmm. very easily as well. And I'm thinking something as delicate as a hard boiled egg. Oh, without, without doubt. squishing it or a tomato. Well, you want to um, see something delicate. I'll mm -hmm. show you exactly Kay. right over here. Look at this, if you were getting some bread and you wanted to make some stuffing with it or something, look at how this knife goes right through that bread, wow. not crushing a thing. That's pretty impressive. I mean, that is pretty impressive Well, right this there. is Well, this is a top rated knife and now you can see why. We're actually scrolling some customer comments across the bottom of the screen. Uh, you know, nothing is more dangerous in the kitchen than a knife that is dull or that mm -hmm. is difficult to work with. Uh, this has been a huge customer favorite. And uh, if you didn't get one from Santa Claus, you can get it today for under $25. Uh, this will help prevent your food from sticking, will allow it to glide through hard foods easier. Take this pineapple, I for mean, instance. I mean, look at that. Wow. Just so easy to get through. This, I mean, even with the skin on, to me, that is a sign of not only a good knife, mm -hmm. a sharp knife, mm -hmm. but a knife that with this patented technology of those grooves in there, allows the air between the food and the knife blade, letting it release so much more easily. So you'll see the three most, you know, functional knives in the kitchen, cleaver, a mezzaluna, a chef's knife, combined into one. If you look at the knife from the top down, you'll see those groovy waves. Mm -hmm. If you look at it from the bottom up, it's a straight edge. So this is not giving you waffle cuts. It's giving you straight cuts. But those grooves allow the air between the food and the knife so you don't get things sticking to the knife. This is a really, really popular item, over 500 ordered. Uh, this is the Groove Tech Japanese knife called the Meza Knife, and it's going to take the place of all of the other knives that you use a lot in your kitchen and really make all of them in right. this one knife work better. And this is what happens. This is a good knife. It's a sharp knife, but it does not have that Groove Tech design, and mm -hmm. the food sticks to it. Yeah. When you use the knife with the Groove Tech design, the food just falls away from the blade. So it's easier to slide through foods and it's, it's just faster. Now, let me ask you this because I know some folks are wondering, how do I sharpen this knife? You sharpen this knife exactly the same way you okay. would sharpen a regular knife. You can use a steel on it or you can use an electric sharpener or I always recommend to home cooks to get their knives professionally sharpened once a year. Okay, good but, idea. But same thing because remember the blade is actually straight. It's mm -hmm. a straight edge blade the grooves you're going to see are on the top all the way down uh -huh. towards that blade, but uh -huh. the blade itself is straight edge, so you get a straight cut. Let me show you the choices in case you didn't realize we have two. The red is very, very popular, but we also have it for you in black, and it does come with a sheath, so it's going to protect it in your knife drawer. So uh, that's going to protect the blade and also protect you from grabbing it out of there because it is a sharp knife. That's right. So again, customer you know, top rated.
I also really love that sheath because whenever I go on vacation to like a, a home, a holiday home or something, mm -hmm. I always take my own knife because you never know what kind of knives you're going to get there. Yeah. So this makes it idea. really easy to take that knife with you. And look at the tomato. Tomatoes Just are such a good item to show uh, how great this knife is because the skin is hard to cut through, but the meat is very soft and squishy. I mean, so if you have exactly. a dull knife or a knife that doesn't glide easily, you're going to just squish the tomato. You are going to completely destroy mm -hmm. the tomato. But look at that, easy to do. And then because it has that, yeah, I'm going to take that from you right there now. There you go. Because it has that uh, rocking, great curved blade mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. I can actually rock through foods really, really easily as well. Well, that's the, where the mezzaluna part comes exactly. in. Exactly. Because those are so great for the rocking uh, technique. Wow. Look at that. And, and notice how it's not all mushy. It's not mushy, it's, no. It's just finely chopped. It's beautiful. That's lovely. Now, again, fruit, we're talking, we're selling uh, honey bells today. Yes. So sometimes you want very thinly sliced pieces of fruit for sticking on the side of your beverage glass or to top a cake with. Uh, this is such a great knife for fruits, vegetables, meats, cheeses. Uh, I'm assuming we don't have it out here, but also raw meats, which are sometimes difficult to cut. Absolutely. Cutting up a chicken, cutting through some steak. And you've also got a crusty bread over there, which yep. again, you don't want to squish what's inside, but you need something sharp enough and something that glides enough to cut through the outside. I mean, this is amazing. It just goes right through. And the thing that I love the most about it is that everything you glide through, it's effortless, mm -hmm. effortless to do these things. Mm -hmm. So it just, it works so well. And again, I think what really shows it off the best is this cheese. Mm -hmm. Cheese can be hard to get through when it's this thick and big. But We're this looking is at no the, the combination. There's this groove of the waves, rather. Right, you'll see that from the top the of the top. knife down. But mm -hmm. the blade itself is actually straight edge. But the grooves, they allow air to get in between the food and the knife so that you don't have that suction holding, making the food hold on to the knife yep. blade. So not only does it allow the food to fall away from the knife, but it glides more easily through the knife. So when you're doing things like cheese, which can actually be very hard to mm -hmm. cut if you're cutting a big block of cheese, mm -hmm. just like this, it goes through without a problem. And it doesn't stick. Not only is that difficult to cut through, but it's sticking along the way when you use a regular knife. So that makes it even more I difficult. Mean, that is great. So that's just, that was like butter. Over 2,500 now ordered. This is very, very popular. Again, if you've got a cute gift card, you foodies, and you want something fabulous for your kitchen, if you didn't already get the Groove Tech Groovy Knife, right. um, you can pick yours up today at a great price of under $25. We have red or black. Red is just a little bit more popular right now. Of course, you also get the matching sheet. Meredith will be back with a couple more great items in the show. Uh, so uh, stick around. I'll see you in just a little bit. Absolutely. All right. So we're going to check in with Miss Mary. Hey, girl. What's up? I'm good. Hey, Carolyn. How are you? It's so nice to have you here. And if I could quote Joanne Francis, hi, Carolyn. I'm so glad you're on In the Kitchen with David. You're doing an awesome job. And I think that's nice. So thank you so much for chatting with us. Go to Facebook.com.